All right, I'm back at the server, but this time with my Proxmox boot installer. So let's get this thing plugged in, just so you can see right down here. Jack it into the USB slot right on the front. Turn the power on, and we will get through the boot process. Now, uh, I shouldn't say boot, I should say the uh, power on self-test. So uh, this should give us the ability to go in here and select what boot device we want. Give it a second. All right, we got the Dell, and right there we've got F11, the boot manager. Oh, I hope, okay, there we go. It's loading the BIOS boot manager right now. Now notice it says one virtual drive found on the host adapter. That's the RAID 1 array that we uh, set up between these two disks right here. So that virtual drive will be what we install Proxmox on too. I just broke a cardinal English rule. You never end a sentence with a preposition. So that's what we'll install Proxmox towards. All right, Dell Boot Manager says continue normal boot or let's check the BIOS boot menu. Scanning what boot devices we've got. Well, that is really lame. It does not have the USB device listed right there. So I'm gonna check a few settings. Looking at the system BIOS, we'll hit the boot settings and BIOS boot settings. Now look at that. It says uh, disk hard hard disk drive hard hard disk drive sequence. That's awkward. Uh, it says your RAID controller and then disconnected to front USB one. There's my Cruiser Glide 3.0. Let's go down there and uh, let's let's uh, let's see if we can move one up or down. There we go. Change the order a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now we got the disconnected. Let's go back, back, and finish. Yes, we'll save those changes and see what happens. You know, this is a good time to start cleaning up this mess here. I have literally just boxes and boxes of caddies for this thing. So I'm just going to start sticking these in while I'm waiting for it to boot. Caddy. Snap. Hey, look at that. We got Proxmox installer right on the screen. Now it's given us the option, do you want to install Proxmox? Uh, put it in debug mo mode, rescue boot, etc. We'll just hit the install button, it's loading it up. Going through a little Linux boot process. All right, awesome. Now we got the uh, end user license agreement up there. Of course, we will agree to that. Hey, I got a mouse, mouse works, I agree. All right, uh, verify your installation target, automatically detect hardware, and you've got a graphical user interface. Right at the bottom here, it says the target hard disk. Hang on, let me, let me scoot this forward a little bit. Oh, see if you can see that a little closer. How's that? Yeah. Again, you can't really uh, demonstrate this without using a virtual machine, so I'm, I'm just filming the screen. There's our hard, uh, target hard disk. There's our 278 gigabyte drive. I'll click on next. Uh, country. We'll put uh, USA. And time zone. We are in... America, Phoenix. That was kind of a pain to get to right there. Uh, keyboard layout, U.S. English. All right, next button. Select a country first. Maybe U.S. How was that? Select a country first. <laughs> what are you making me do? Ah, you got to type something there. There we go. United States. Oh, now I lost my time zone. Good grief. Back to Phoenix and next. What is your password? I'll type in my super secret password. And what is your email address? We will do, uh, well, my email. Next. All right, what IP address do you want to give this guy? We will uh, give him the host name. Let's do uh, proxmox.home.local. That's just what I'm using in my house right now as my domain. Give the IP address 172.20.0. Uh, zero dot, uh, which is my subnet. Um, let's just go with 100. I should have better documentation at this point. Gateway is the dot one. DNS server will be 172.20.0.1. The, the gateway will be the DNS relay. Click on next and verify that it's all good. We'll hit the install and bada bing. It's going through the installation of Proxmox, creating partitions and getting this thing ready for us to use. All right, look at that. We've got installation successful. Reboot and point your web browser to that IP address, colon 8006. That's the port number. All that occurred in the time it took me to install five drive caddies. That should give you a relative time. I'll hit the reboot button, yank out the USB installer. Let's watch this thing go to town. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Doesn't that just 
Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, love it. All right, there we go. Proxmox is booting. All right, there we go. Welcome to the Proxmox virtual environment. Connect your web browser to 172.20.0100, 8006. Proxmox is installed. It's that simple.